Jay Fallis, the marketing director here of the Gilmore Car Museum. I want to welcome you here. It's first time here, right? Well, let's. Uh, we have to fill up with gas real quick, but we'll give you a quick little ride around. You can kind of give an overview of what the museum is all about. The Cadillac LaSalle Club Museum and Research Center was formed in 1995 when several officers and members of the Cadillac LaSalle Club saw the need for a way to maintain Cadillac and LaSalle history and set out to create an organization dedicated to collecting and preserving that history. With an initial stipend from the Cadillac LaSalle Club, a new 501c3 charitable organization was formed to provide for tax-deductible donations of Cadillac and LaSalle literature, automobiles, and other artifacts. We now have 12 cars, several thousand shop manuals, parts books, sales brochures, ads, photos, and dealership and factory artifacts. We need a permanent home and display space for the automobiles and the artifacts, and after a year-long evaluation process, we have selected the Gilmore Car Museum in Hickory Corners, Michigan as the location for a new Cadillac and LaSalle Club Museum building. There are 90 acres here, 24 buildings, and about 250 cars in the collection. The unique thing about the Gilmore Museum is that uh, we have partnerships with other uh, car organizations, foundations. The Classic Car Club of America Museum is here on our site. The Pierce Arrow Museum is here on our site. The Cadillac LaSalle Club Museum is a new arrival here to the Kilmore. And we soon expect the Lincoln Foundation to build their new museum here, as well as the Model A Ford Museum. The mission of the Gilmore Car Museum is to collect, preserve, and tell the story of the American automobile and uh, its culture in the United States. The Gilmore Car Museum is located on 90 acres northeast of Kalamazoo, Michigan, midway between Detroit and Chicago. There are eight display buildings, a restored 1940s diner, a replica of a 1930s shell filling station, a library, and a miniatures museum already on the site. The Gilmore Car Museum's collection is housed on five of those buildings, the Classic Car Club of America has its museum here, as does the Pierce Arrow Foundation. The Franklin Club has just opened its new museum here in a replica of a California Franklin dealership building. We, CLC MRC, have leased the Carriage House building here as a temporary home for our display, the Cadillac Gallery, until we can build our own museum building. The Cadillac LaSalle Club Museum's car collection is being moved to the carriage house. Among the cars on display is Bob Lutz's 1934 LaSalle convertible on loan to us, the CLC MRC's 1931 Cadillac sedan, the 1937 LaSalle convertible sedan donated by David Crudenier of Des Moines, Iowa, and the 1941 Cadillac 60 special sedan donated by the family of Ansel Sackett who was one of the early members of the Cadillac LaSalle Club and one of the founders of the Cadillac LaSalle Club Museum. This aerial view of the Gilmore Car Museum shows the carriage house where our display is currently housed and the site we've selected for our new museum building. If you stand at the door of the diner and sight down the road, you will be looking at the front door of our new museum building. Members of the League of Retired Automotive Designers have submitted design proposals and an architectural competition is currently going on to determine the appearance of the new Cadillac and LaSalle Club Museum building. The Cadillac and LaSalle Club Museum and Research Center exists because of the largesse of the founding donors and the founding sponsors 
and donations from hundreds of Cadillac LaSalle Club Museum members as they have renewed their club membership. Your ongoing support, your substantial donations to the Cadillac LaSalle Club Museum and Research Center will be the basis on which we are able to build a new building and create an endowment to assure that it can be maintained in perpetuity. It's been great giving you a tour. I hope you've really enjoyed yourself. Uh, now, next time you come out, plan a little extra time because it usually takes two to three hours to go through the museum. And I know we've kind of scurried through. And check the website and you'll be able to see uh, what, our, what our current hours are and all the costs and everything. We'd love to have you guys come up again. See ya.